Hey guys, it's Mr. Essery here. And Mrs. Essery. And we are here going to tell you today how to make your very own homemade hand sanitizer. Um, as you guys know, during this time of COVID-19, hand sanitizer is very, very difficult to come by. In fact, I've seen that a lot of stores are just completely selling out. And I know that we've had to go on a few hand sanitizer runs for members of our families that are running out. Um, thing is, we don't necessarily have to go to the store to get the hand sanitizer anymore because we're going to learn how to make it ourselves. And it's actually very easy. Mm -hmm. In order to make hand sanitizer, what you need is 99% rubbing alcohol or isopropyl alcohol. This is just run of the mill running alcohol that you might have in your kitchen cabinet or your bathroom cabinet. Some aloe vera, which if you're like me and you get burnt a lot during the summer, you definitely have this at home. And then you'll need a bowl to mix it in, a spoon, and measuring cups. This is a one-fourth measuring cup. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. And this is a three-fourth measuring cup, which if you don't have a three-fourth measuring cup, you can use the one-fourth measuring cup three times, and it's going to give you the exact same amount. And then online, it recommends using a whisk to whisk it up real nice and easy to make it nice and smooth. I brought that to you, but I'm not sure we'll use it. So the important thing about rubbing alcohol or hand sanitizer is that the majority of it, at least 60%, is rubbing alcohol. Otherwise, it's not going to do its job. So we're going to be using the three-fourths measuring cup to measure out three-fourths cups of rubbing alcohol. And then we'll be using the one-fourth measuring cup to measure out one-fourth of a cup of the aloe vera. So the alcohol, the purpose behind the alcohol is because it will kill those germs. And it can take up to 60 seconds for the rubbing alcohol and hand sanitizer to kill those germs. So even if you're using the stuff like this, you don't want to put it on your hands, rub them together real quick, and then instantly start touching your eyeball. Uh, first off, alcohol in your hands still might burn your eye. But secondly, you didn't give it time for those germs to really get killed. So we want to wait a little bit, make sure we thoroughly rub it into all the cracks and crevices before we even think about touching anywhere on our face. I'll go ahead and do that too before we make ours. <laughs> What's the step? All right, so will you measure out three-fourths of the rubbing alcohol for me? I can do that. I did not make a mess. So another cool science tip here is whenever you're pouring a substance, you want to commit to the pour. If he doesn't commit, then it will dripple down the side. But as long as he commits to the pour, he shouldn't have any spillage there. All right, you can go ahead and empty it into the bowl. There we go. Nice committing there. Only slight spillage, but it wasn't going to be a tissue from over there. We can get that spill cleaned up real quick. There we go. We don't want that on our. It wasn't from the pouring, it was definitely from the splashing out after. Yeah. He committed in the pouring, he just didn't commit to the bowl. <laughs> All right, and then we will need one fourth of the aloe vera. So this aloe vera probably isn't the best aloe vera to use. You could find more pure aloe vera. Um, our concentration of alcohol might be a little high, actually, because in this aloe vera, it actually has some alcohol in it. Uh, and that alcohol is mostly to treat sunburns to kind of help ease that pain. But again, you're just going to add that aloe vera right to the alcohol. That in there. You might use the spoon. Yep, that's exactly what spoon is used for. See, it's very gelatinous, so it doesn't come out pretty easily. So we want a spoon. Make sure we get all of that aloe vera. The rubbing alcohol is the important part for killing the germs. The aloe vera is what allows us to use the hand sanitizer without drying out our hands so much. So you may already know that hand sanitizer is going to dry out your hands a little bit, but it'd be a lot worse if we were just dipping our hands into 99% rubbing alcohol with no aloe vera. All right, and so I'm just trying to get this all nice and mixed in here. And this is probably going to be more like a spray hand sanitizer if you've seen those before. It's going to be more liquidy, more of a liquid, I should say. 
And then let's use that whisk. Maybe they had a point with saying we needed a whisk. Make sure we get that aloe vera nice and dissolved in our alcohol. So while I'm whisking here, I just want to say, you know, you may wonder, well, what's the point of, you know, having to make your own hand sanitizer? Um, this can be a very nice surprise, I would say, for some of your family members. Some of the fun that you could do, um, basically, is to give them just like a little gift, even. Um, there's been a lot of joke gifts I know of people paying um, for food or something from a neighbor with a toilet paper or something. Hand sanitizer could be that one thing. I know that every time we've tried to buy hand sanitizer lately, it's been completely sold out. So, this is something, you know, if you have all the stuff already at home, or maybe you go to the store, you don't have, um, can't find hand sanitizer, but you can find rubbing alcohol, then this is a very good thing that you could do. All right, guys. So, we have just whisked together our aloe vera and our rubbing alcohol. Now, we're going to add one more thing to our solution. And this is really just based on your opinion. Right now, it kind of smells a lot like alcohol. Um, but I have some essential oils at home. And this one is for tranquility. So it's going to relieve some stress. So when you're out trying to find that toilet paper and you're stressed out, rub some alcohol, rub some of this on your hands, and it will help you feel better. You just need a couple of drops of that. Oh, yeah, you can kind of smell it already. Yep. Yeah. Sweet. That can help relieve some of that stress. Whisk that in nice and easy. And so you can see our solution is very much a liquid, but that's a good thing. It means it's going to be easy to rub into our hands and kill those germs because we have about 75% alcohol here, maybe a little bit higher. Yeah, um, if you wanted to add a lemon juice or any kind of scent that you have from the kitchen, you could add that. Uh, lemon juice would be nice because it's also a little acidic. Um, if you wanted to add maybe a peppermint or a spice like a vanilla seasoning, make it smell nice. Now, when it comes to, you know, the fact that it's liquidy makes it, you can't just poop it out. Having it in a bowl is not that helpful. Yeah. So what we're using as something to apply it is an empty soap bottle, which, you know, hopefully you may have something like that around the house. Um, if you got any soap bottles that are almost empty, just, you know, open it up, wash it out, and it makes it, it's very good to go ahead and put that in there. Now, a squeeze bottle would also work. So if you have a squeeze bottle or with this being so much of a liquid, if you have one of those little miniature travel spray bottles, this could work and you could spray it on your hands before you rub it in. Now, as you can see, earlier I committed to the pour and I did all right, but I don't think I can commit to the pour like this. <laughs> so that is why we brought in a funnel. Now, we happen to have a funnel like this. You can get um, some heavy stock paper maybe and, or aluminum foil. and make a funnel that way if you don't happen to have one of these. You know, we have actually just got this very recently. And then I'm going to let you go ahead and do the pouring for this one. Just because oh. <laughs> I made fun of him. Yep. Okay. I was going to hold this for you. Okay. <laughs> Only got a little bit of a spill. Oh, I think it's too much for the bottle, though. Oh, yep. That's what it is. <laughs> <laughs> we filled this to the brim. So you show even just a little bit actually makes a quite a good bit of hand sanitizer that way, though. So it's a good thing to find out. Just be careful. Our table is going to be nice and sanitized. <laughs> no Corona here. All right. And we just want to fasten that top part. And then would you like to try out our hand yeah, sanitizer? Yeah, let's try it out. And there you go. See? Homemade hand sanitizer. Exactly like you would get at the store. And it has that nice tranquility smell so that we're not stressed out. Yep. Yeah. So if you run out of hand sanitizer at home, or you know someone that ran a hand sanitizer, and you just want to, you know, get, get crafty, make some yourself, save some money that way, we got you. Homemade hand sanitizer. Super simple. Doesn't take that long at all to do. All right. So this is Mr. Essery.
and Mrs. Esri, and we will see you again next week.